I uh, have to tell you that I have come here tonight to warn you. No, uh, I'm a worrier. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I don't come off that way. <laughs> I know. Uh, you know it's another secret about me is I may be slightly obsessive compulsive. <laughs> yeah. I ask it really well. You know. uh, I, I wor I'm an exceptional worrier. I have uh, really good skills. I worry about how much I worry. <laughs> I worry that you don't worry enough. <laughs> Usually you can't take a worrier very seriously uh, when they tell you they have come to warn you. <laughs> because there have already been 37 things that day that they have decided not to warn you about, just barely. <laughs> you know, like they were kind of like, ooh, that coffee's hot, watch the edge of the carpet, that chair looks freaking easy looking. Now, <laughs> well, mostly I stuff that stuff down, you know. <laughs> uh, except when it comes to my kids who just... You know, just develop selective hearing. <laughs> uh, knitting's a relief to your average uh, warrior. Because there really isn't that much high tension stuff to worry about, you know? No, I can do it. Uh, you can worry about running out of yard storage space. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Lives will not be lost. <laughs> uh, you can worry about losing a DPM on a bus, you know, when it goes down the track. Uh, you can worry about a terrible wool blight. That's got to come to visit me then. Like mad dark wildfire across the globe and render every sheep suddenly completely harmless. <laughs> Leaves you, me, all of us with only the wool we have in our stashes right now. <laughs> Then, after the yarn shop riots, <laughs> we are forced to retreat to our underground stash rooms to defend ourselves against the crochet marauders. Yeah. <laughs> 